Hello, my name is Leslie Alvarez. I am a legal fellow with Disability Rights Texas. We are a nonprofit devoted to protecting and advancing the rights of people with disabilities in all aspects of life. I am joining you today because Texas has been caught once again violating the rights of children with disabilities. This time, however, it is for not complying with Part C of the Individuals with Disabilities Education Act, IDEA, that requires states to provide early childhood intervention services, referred to as ECI, to infants with disabilities from age zero to age three in order to help them overcome early developmental challenges and also help set them up for future success. As you know, our organization has kept you up to date in the recent years with the ongoing problems that Texas has continued to have in complying with IDEA by failing to meet the needs of special education students in public schools. And so the news that Texas is also systematically failing infants and toddlers with disabilities does not come as a surprise. In fact, in 2016, Disability Rights filed a complaint against the Texas Health and Human Services Commission, referred to as HHSC, which is the state agency charged with developing the state's funding and contracting structure for early childhood intervention programs. That complaint filed in 2016 charged the state with violating IDEA Part C because of the state's failure to provide ECI services to a two-year-old girl. That charge is actually very, very similar to the recent federal findings against the state of Texas. On October 5th of this year, the federal government issued a letter to the Texas HHSC commissioner describing the state's non-compliance with the IDEA Part C requirements. The non-compliance was attributed to the fact that although the number of children enrolled in ECI has continued to increase, the state has continued to drastically reduce funding for the programs. Lack of funding, however, is not an excuse to stop providing ECI service. And the letter actually reiterated that IDA Part C requirements must be followed regardless of the state's funding levels. The federal government also concluded that Texas failed to appropriately conduct IDA mandated child fine activities, which are activities that schools must proactively take to identify, locate, and evaluate students with disabilities within their area. Also, Texas was found to fail to ensure that there are ECI therapy resources in all geographic areas of the state. These findings have made it clear that Texas's underfunding of ECI has caused thousands of eligible infants and toddlers with disabilities and their families to miss out on critical, life-changing services. These services are critical because the earliest months of a child's life are the most important to their development of a lot of skills. And so what is the federal government now going to require the state of Texas to do? Texas has until early January 2021 to provide the U.S. Office of Special Education Programs with a corrective action plan that addresses the state's noncompliance and also identifies the steps it is going to take to ensure that all eligible infants and toddlers with disabilities receive services, including compensatory services, which may be needed. Compensatory services will provide a student with a disability the educational services needed to make up for skills or learning that has been lost when services were not provided. DRTX has also heard that families exiting the ECI program have been struggling to obtain timely evaluations by their local school districts. So upon aging out of the ECI program, a child should be transitioned to another setting where they will receive the appropriate services if needed. In conclusion, we want to say again that ECI services are critical in helping children be ready to start school and meet other goals through services like speech and occupational therapy. Disability Rights Texas is dedicated to making sure that young children with disabilities receive ECI services. So please help us reach more people with the information in this video by sharing it and sharing the resources on our website with other parents. And if you or anyone you know has been denied or waitlisted for ECI services or by a delay in transitioning from ECI to your local school,
please call the DRTX intake line at 1-800-252-9108 or visit intake.drtx.org to complete an application for services online. Thank you.